Hey guys, it's Remix. Welcome back. We are on the Iridescent server again, and today. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, last time we left off, I f almost finished this farm over here. I got the roof on it since last time. It's actually been a while since I. Uh, it's been a couple days or a week since that last video. But if you see here, I got the roof finished on it, and I think it's all done and finished. I move all the farms from up there down to here, so they're all they're all here now so that should make it a little easier to get through stuff I'm not ready to push the button yet so we'll wait to do that one other thing we're gonna start today is the house up on the hill just because last server on the last map it took me forever oh my what the heck <laughs> it took me forever to get my house started so I wanted to do that a lot earlier this time because I need to get storage because you'll see up here it's just a pile of crap everywhere but Steven was just over and we were just talking about updating to the snapshot and we're going to be doing that soon, probably tomorrow if everything goes okay. We're just breeding a bunch of villagers, getting ready for the change. But yes, so we're going to start off working here. If you guys, actually you guys, there's no way you will know, but um, my old house on my first single player, not my first single player world, my old single player world, not the one I'm on currently, but the one before that. I had a house and I'm building this one as sort of a remake of it. So it's going to be really similar to it, but it's going to look completely different. So, and I really like that house. It was really cool. I got it off an old series I used to watch. Uh, I think it was Duncan from the Yogscast built this house on his Tekkit series. Okay. So what we need to do is start off in these windows in front here. And I've found out that these white stained glass look really good in snow biomes because it actually makes it look like the windows are frozen. This actually looks really nice. Oop, not you. Uh, these doors are going to move anyway because I'm going to be changing that. And there's going to be red wool here eventually. Alright. So I've already laid out this front area in creative, just like the front part of this house. But that's all I've done, really. The roof is going to be stone brick, and there's going to be some cool cobblestone wall pillars here. It's really just a small little cottage. It's not really much of a house. But we're going to need... Actually, we should have some roses here. I can make some... Oh, you know what? I probably don't have wool. That's snow. Yeah, I definitely don't have wool. So we'll have to go grab wool, probably either from spawn, or we can get together some sheep down there. I was able to get some pigs down there, too which is cool and I was able to start a strip mine down here I'm getting off topic now there's the pig from last time <laughs> keeping him forever okay so what we want to do now is get up there with some full glass blocks which are right here Whoops. okay and some dirt would be fantastic hello <laughs> A little bit of lag. If you guys aren't already noticing, it's already bugging the crap out of me. These textures are flipped again because I installed Optifine, which only works for 1.7.2. So, like, the ores and stuff look really flipped and it really bugs me. But I wanted to get Optifine, like you see my cape on, and I wanted to get some better performance. Even though I get okay. Okay, we need to sleep. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can get everyone to sleep, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm out finding sheep right now, and I just heard a lot of loud noises right here. It looks like there's some friends down here <laughs> that don't like the sun very much. So let's try to get as safe as we can. Oh, that's... Oh, no, 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 no! Thanks for helping. Hmm. Spawner down here wouldn't be too bad. This better not be a cave. I do not want to get caught up in a cave right now. <laughs> okay, let's not go that way because that's going to lead me right to a cave and I will never come out of it. Uh, oh yeah, there's the flip doors. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'm just going to grab some wool from... I thought I just heard something. I think I'm just going to grab some wool from Sneer's place. Uh, that's probably the easiest thing to do. That's going to bug me that there's not snow there. But... I saw some sheep over here. There's a sheep that's been hanging out by my nether portal for a while. I hate Enderman. 
and I want to get them in here, but I think we'll wait later to do that. I just want to grab some wool. I'm pretty sure Sneer should have some, because he's got some animal farms, because I do not want to walk all the way to Steven's house, because his house is 10 blocks away. 10,000 blocks away. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I guess I'll see you guys. Oh, there's a sheep. I'll find another one. Alright, guys, as I'm getting these sheep together, I've been starting to think, like, all these other animals, like, they... They're just led here to their deaths. Like, the only reason we want them is for their food and to kill them and eat them. But these sheep kind of have it made. Like, they they get well-groomed. They get to be kept here. There gets to be a lot of them. They get friends and everything. And they get to have babies. <laughs> so that's always good. Um, these guys are wanting to sleep. Oh, these guys are wanting to sleep, so I want to make this a little quick. But one thing I've been noticing about this farm that I want to point out is it's not so much happening on these sides, but it's happening right here in the middle these items are falling down into the middle like under these half slabs which I didn't really think of before so I'm probably gonna fix that just putting full blocks in the middle the outside is not really that bad because if it does happen I can just go around the outside and grab them but other than that I don't really have ooh, I don't have any problems except this guy here but I'm going to shear those guys and get some red wool and then we'll be able to start work on the house again <sighs> Where'd you get this one from, huh? Where was it? Was it there? Or was it there? Uh, Enderman. <laughs> Alright, so I got those sheep sheared. Got us five wool from it. I only need two for now. I might need more for, like, carpet or something I want to put in that house. Dang it, climb. But, so we need to dye this red and then we can start working on the house again. I was able to make some, or smelt some stone bricks while I was waiting for stuff and sleeping and everything. So let's put some of this stuff away. And get some roses. Still cause rose red, but it's a poppy. Oh, I need two. Wait, did that only make one? Oh, okay. No, not another word. Give me the poppy. I don't know why I went in the crafting table for that. Jeez, I'm a mess. <laughs> okay. Got two of those, and these are going to go right there. Nice. Okay. Now, should we want to do this? I need that dirt back. I don't know why I put it away. Just grab that. And we just want to place these guys right up here. Right there. And then... I think I just put these up here. If I am not mistaken. Let's grab that. Oh, I fell. Great. Uh, you know what? While we're up here, we'll start on the roof. Why not? So, very simple house, but it's just my favorite. It gives me nostalgia when I see it in my old world and everything. Yes, I am recording. <laughs> Say hello. So, what it, this is like is it has sort of two. Why didn't I go down that? It has sort of two levels. This roof right here comes over the edge right here. It goes down diagonally. And it kind of meets in a point somewhere up here where this goes across. It looks really neat. I really like it. Just from an old series I watched a long, long time ago. Like, that was a, a while ago now that I think of it. Back when TechIt was the thing. And me and my friends had a server on that. But, looking good, looking good. I just need to figure out where that starts and everything. I think it's actually just right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Oh. Just like that. And then same thing on the other side. Right there. And then right here is where the cobblestone wall pillars are going to go. I'll probably mix in some mossy mossy pillars too. But you guys can kind of see how it's shaping up. It's a really, like I said, it's a really small cottage kind of thing. You don't go there. But it's really cool. I'm planning on right down here having a pathway going flattening this little hump out right here where the nether portal's on and having it at that level and I'm gonna have a pathway kind of curve out in a circle going down here into some sort of basement for this 
So I think that would be cool. And then this down here is going to be like a really cool door to go down to a big storage area. But yes. So I think I'm going to kind of get the walls laid out for this. And then I'll see you when that's finished. Alright guys, so I thought I'd take you on a little trip to my single player world I was talking about just so you can see what I'm trying to attempt to remake here. And it's this little house right here. This is a direct remake of the one that uh, I'm basing this one off of. or base This is a direct remake of the one I based it off of. So it's just a... I just copied the house and now I'm remaking it. But this is what we're basing it off of. If you guys are wondering why I stopped this world, it's because I have everything. Like, I have stacks and stacks of diamonds and everything. But this is re really how small the house is. It's nothing compared to any better house. But this is really what we're doing. I have fire tick turned off because I don't play in this world anymore. So basically everything's turned off. But that's really all I'm going for is this little house. I'm just remodeling it. Uh, I want to use the bricks again. But yeah, I'm not going to show you guys around here. Maybe that can be for a different day in its own separate video. But I thought you guys might want to see where this is coming from. So yeah. So I've been noticing as I've been building this, how bad I must have been at the game as I misplaced a block. How bad I must have been at the game because this house was the hardest thing to make. But it's actually really easy now. I'm actually, I just said actually like four times. I'm really surprised. I thought this was going to take a while. But I'm running out of stairs anyway, so I'm going to have to smelt up more stone. But I think that's all we have time for for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I think I'll do some work on the house. Not sure if I'll finish it. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.